Drug stability is defined as the ability of the pharmaceutical dosage form to maintain its physical, chemical, therapeutic, and microbial properties during the time of storage and usage by the patient. It is measured by the rate of changes that takes place in the pharmaceutical dosage form. The most important factors that affect the drug stability are classified as environmental, microbial, and packaging materials. First, the environmental factors, which include moisture that has a great effect on most of the water-soluble dosage form and the hydrophobic ones too. Once they come in contact with any moisture layer, it leads to many physical and chemical changes in the dosage form, leading to a change in its properties. The temperature. Any change in temperature may cause a drastic effect on the stability of the drug. Increase in temperature usually increase the drug hydrolysis. Light exposure. Certain drugs are photosensitive and their rate of decomposition enhances when exposed to light. Sources of microbial contamination. They are classified as water, air, raw materials such as starch and pigments, gums, animal products, and personnel. The packaging materials may contain glass containers, plastic containers, metals such as various alloys and aluminum tubes, and finally rubber and the risk of leaching container ingredients. Types of degradation. They are classified as chemical, physical, and biological. The chemical includes the hydrolysis, which means splitting by water, oxidation by the presence of oxygen, photolysis, which is the decomposition or separation of molecules by the action of light. The physical degradation, which is according to the formulation of the drug. For example, the oral solutions may have loss of flavor or discoloration. The parenteral solution may contain discoloration due to photochemical reaction or oxidation. The suspensions, which may settle or contain crystal growth. The emulsion, which may have creaming or coalescence. The semi-solids, which may experience changes in particle size and consistency. The tablets may have changes in the hardness and the appearance. And capsules, which may have changes in the appearance dissolution and strength. The main objectives of pharmaceutical products to be stable during preparation, packaging, transportation and administration to provide high bioavailability to give its therapeutic action. So the main objectives of stability studies is to provide evidence about the quality of the drug especially under the effects of some environmental factors such as high temperature, direct sunlight, and humidity. And also to know the degradation pathway of the pharmaceutical products and finally to establish the retest period of the drug. Stability tests are very important to make sure that the drug is safe to be taken by the patient to give its therapeutic effects, to maintain the activity of the product and finally to determine the shelf life and expiration date of the final pharmaceutical product. Also, stability tests are made to determine the suitable excipients containers to be used in production and packaging processes and the suitable storage conditions of the drug. Types of packaging we have three types of packaging, primary, secondary, and tertiary. Primary packaging is always in touch with the dosage form or the equipment. This packaging needs to be with no interaction with the drug. Its example is the plaster packaging. Secondary packaging. This packaging stores the pharmaceutical packages inside it for grouping, like the cartons and the boxes. Tertiary packaging provides bulk handling and shipping of the pharmaceuticals, like the containers. We have two types of containers, glass containers and plastic containers. Glass containers contain four types, which are porosilicate glass, which is highly resistant and chemically inert glass, treated soda lime glass, there are more chemically inert than type 1 glass, prevented plumbing weathering from puddles, regular soda lime glass, untreated soda lime glass with average chemical resistance, general purpose soda lime glass, this, this is not used for parenterals only used for orally or topically administrations. In plastic containers, we have polyethylene, which provide good barrier against the moisture. Polypropylene, 
It has high melting point, making it suitable for polyvinyl packages. Polyvinyl chloride can be produced with crystal clear clarity. Polystyrene, it's rigid and crystal clear plastic, not helpful for liquid products. The polyamide, which is called also nylon, provides resistance to a wide range of acid and alkali. The polycarbonate has an ability to be sterilized frequently. The polythylene triphthalate, used in cosmetics as it has excellent strength and provides barrier for gas. How packaging affects stability? Concerning packaging and the primary packaging of materials, there are various aspects that we have to consider like the function of packaging, selection of packaging materials, sterilization, testing of the materials selected, filling, assembling, and storage. Primary packaging materials came in various forms and are made of various materials like ampoules, strips, vials, bottles, and tubes. But how can we make a proper choice of the packaging material? Primary package selection should depend on various points like the physical chemical properties of the drug, the drug dosage form, and the route of administration. But in general, they should be inert, non-toxic, not affected or affecting the drugs. When talking about the materials forming the primary packaging materials, there are various items like the glass containers, plastic containers, and metallic containers. Glass containers are the most commonly used ones. They are highly impermeable, very protective, and economic. They are found in various forms and shapes like the amber colored glass, which protects several drugs from photodegradation. They have some limitations like being heavy and easily broken. On the other hand, plastic containers are extremely resistant to breakage, offering a safety to consumers, along with reduction of breakage loss. They have some limitations as some types of plastics can absorb the constituents and the excipients of the drugs, making it unstable. Others can transfer the environmental oxygen and moisture to the product. Examples on that are the polyethylene, which are good barriers against moisture, but relatively poor barriers against oxygen and other gases. Polypropylene polymers has good resistance to all types of chemicals with a high melting point, allowing it to be used in the sterilizable products. Metallic containers like various alloys, lead, aluminium, and tin, which is the most inert and most expensive one, are used in making creams, ointments, and emulsion tubes, but they have some limitations too as they can react with the drug itself, causing precipitation and corrosion affecting its stability. This can be prevented by making an internal coating using polymers like waxes and resins. In conclusion, packaging is the most important component for various drug formulations in the pharmaceutical industry, and packaging of pharmaceutical dosage forms has close relationship between a pharmaceutical preparation and its package concern to the drug stability and safety. The stability of pharmaceutical drugs in solid and liquid dosage forms depends on the efficacy of the packaging materials to protect from chemical degradation and change in pharmaceutical characteristics such as appearance, hardness, friability, dissolution, disintegration, weight variation, and moisture contents. Glass, plastics, metal, and paper are the most commonly used packaging materials in pharmaceutical industries. The selection of packaging material to pack pharmaceutical dosage forms are made on the basis of its efficacy and performance characteristics to preserve the quality, potency, and safety of the pharmaceutical products. Packaging should provide protection, identification, information, convenience, and compliance of a product during storage, carriage, display, and until the time the product is being consumed. It has been observed that degradation of the drug resulting in undesirable physical and chemical changes along with some toxic effects which may be highly hazardous to the patients. So the material selected for packing pharmaceutical drugs must be inert protective from environmental conditions, not import to the product's taste or odor, non-toxic, approved by the FDA, and should be adaptable to commonly employed high-speed packaging equipment. 
It is intended to evaluate the shelf lives of the products stored in different packaging materials and examine their efficacy and performance characteristics in maintaining the product integrity for a prolonged period of storage.